well, I guess uh, now it's a moment of truth. I ended up just go ahead and going ahead and putting in a RF 540 in in there, a little Ketty Wumpus like, because they make a couple different models of these that look exactly the same. Uh, one caps out at 90 volts, the other's 120, I think. I don't know, it might be 80 that the other caps out. But, anyways, that's what it is. So, I'm hoping that this here will fire up. Oh, God. If I don't break shit in the process. Well, moment of truth. Hey, that's looking good. What do we got over here? 11.3.01 amps. Let's, uh... Crank that shit up. shine oh uh, the suspense is killing me <laughs> that's fucking awesome a hundred and thirty dollar power supply well boost converter I guess for six dollars and what did I spend on those IRF 540s? Uh, maybe a dollar or two for ten. So, yeah, that's awesome. I did order the correct part because I bet that little thing. No, nope. perfect. Uh, the only, one of the big differences besides um, it's RDS on and it's uh, VDSS being way off. Well, and it's current. All, all of it's fucking different. At the main thing was the RDS on voltage was 10 volts and that's when MOSFETs get hot is when they're not quite kicked on all the way or they are right in between being on and fully on so so long as I don't push less than 10 volts to this I think I should be fine and I'm happy as a pig in shit I mean, look at this thing. What's that running at? 27.09 amps. 27.8. That's fucking awesome. That's so awesome. So happy. The fan isn't working. That might be an issue, but maybe it's temperature dependent. I don't know. I don't give a shit. That's fucking awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Take that best online, you piece of shit. If you would have spent half the time you did trying to finagle your way into making a decent sale, you could have fixed this fucking thing and made a hell of a sale. That is a testament to how the universe works right there. 